No, 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 no heroes. No, 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 no heroes. No heroes, baby. Hello, guys, and welcome to another deck profile. Hello, hello. So just uh, introduce yourself. So my name is Georgios. I went top eight on the uh, regionals in Germany. And I'm gonna show you basically uh, what kind of deck I played. I played Reju. Uh, I do believe that it's a really strong deck right now in the meta. Uh, at least a lot of people haven't figured it out how to play against it. So you can take advantage of it in your also locals against the most overpowered decks with Sakazuki and Moria. That's it. So just a quick overlook over the cards, the law, the kit, and the my favorite, the Luffy. Wow, beautiful. And you open your serial number. Wow, what a nice card. So you said it's your first serial number, yeah? Yes, it's my first serial. Very uh, nice. On all the regionals that I played, the maximum I have been was top 50, so top 64 basically. So I'm really happy that it actually worked out. Uh, I lost the first round against uh, Sakazuki, uh, but uh, from uh, the next rounds, I think I won three Moria, three Sakazuki, one Katakuri, one mirror match, and I think that's it. Uh, then we played on the next day on top 32, so I went undefeated until then. And I played my first round with Moria. We went 2-1, uh, and I won on this one. Then uh, the next match was uh, Sakazuki. I went 2-0 uh, against him uh, when he won both dice rolls. And uh, yeah, he played, he chose to play whatever he wanted. And I got destroyed on the last match by another Sakazuki who high rolled everything to me. <laughs> Was yeah. no hope, no hope. But still top eight, uh, yeah, amazing best, work. Best, yes. So uh, yeah, let's see your deck. Yes, so I'm gonna start with the 2k counters, which is pretty uh, normal. Yeah. So I know a lot of people don't play... Can you, uh, can you yeah, switch it? Yeah, sure, Perfect. Yes. I know a lot of people uh, play less 2k counters, but uh, I play four Sora. Uh, they're a must. You don't need to only use them for 2k. That's really important because a lot of times you will miss a body, like the small body that you can summon the big ones. So you need to keep that in mind, don't just mindlessly discard them. Uh, next one is the most unnecessary ones. So it's the Miss Double on Figure. I've never had a trigger, so I, I've never had it to actually win because of this. So it's just a 2k counter. You can play with four, but I think three is more than enough. I never had an issue with the counters. Uh, most of the times I had them. And uh, the most important, or actually the second most important 2k counter is Kaya. This I've played it a lot of times. I actually suggest to everyone who are forced to have mediocre to bad hands to try to look through. Because the deck, if, if it starts running, it runs really fast and really smooth. So a lot of times that I was playing first, I actually played Kaya and I discard two big bodies, draw two cards, and then I had like a stage or an event or even a, big, a small body that can bring a big from the one that I discarded. So it's really important. It's not just to kick out this. Um, then I'm gonna go for the two Yonjis. So I know a lot of people play uh, Queen, but I don't really like them. I haven't tested them as much, so I do want to keep uh, testing them at all, uh, like a lot. But I think at five don't you have better things to do than uh, using those. And uh, the best part about this is that these are searchable. Luckily, I haven't brick once, either stage or uh, event. And a lot of times I actually had only Yonji to take. So to me, I think I'm not gonna replace them for a queen, most likely. Um, then we have the easy ones, which is for Eiju and for Eiju. <laughs> so yeah, this is just it's self-explanatory, it's like how the deck works, it's your it best is, yeah. draw engine. From four cards you go to seven immediately, which is amazing. Uh, yeah, this card is irreplaceable, basically. Yeah, amazing card. Yeah. And uh, good for every purple deck, yeah? Yes. So for red purple law, this is amazing. I'm yes. glad I didn't find any red purple law. <laughs> it would be infant G. <laughs> so that's, I'm happy about this. Then we have the blue power razor, small and big one. Uh, they're amazing, I play 3-3, three three. I think that's more than enough. This uh, won me a lot of Saka games, especially when they ask you to go first and uh, uh, they go second. Keep it in mind, because this one can take away their cousin. And uh, I'm gonna say why it's good, because they draw the extra card. 
but uh, that's not a problem for us. They can go as many cards as they want in their hand, and I will explain that later. So for me, this is extremely good when you play first and you play against the Sakazuki. To have it in hand, just bounce the Kuzan. And then we have the Red Power Rangers, which is G. This is the, um, well, almost the MVP card. Almost, the yeah. Sakazuki, almost, we're getting there. <laughs> So I think it's one of the best cards in the deck. Uh, when you play against Akazuki, you have to rush him. You cannot go late game. If you go late game against Akazuki, it's instant Z, so you cannot do that. I think it's really needed. If you play second, you really want to have it in your hand, more than Rager. Because if they don't have Ice Age hand blaze, it's going to be really hard for them to get rid of on, uh, uh, yeah, in early stages of the game. So you can just swing twice, basically, if you want to. Um, let's see. Then we have two Judds, that's also uh, more than enough. Like, uh, okay, so the hard part about Rage is the fact that you need to keep it in track what cards you bottom. You can't afford to just mindlessly draw cards with your searchers and just put them on the bottom without carrying. That's not gonna happen. So you need to be careful which ones you bottom. And you need to also be uh, ready to um, check to not play two bodies at the same time. It's really important because if you go minus two down in one turn, you almost never will have the chance to play Judge, and that hurts a lot. So you have to be in a really crucial situation. And uh, then we have one of the best cards in the deck, of course, <laughs> the stage. Yeah. Self-explanatory. If you play Rage and you don't play the stage, you're trolling. Like it's always uh, the mulligan yes. for it, yeah? Not or always, not always. But if you have it in your hand, it's really good. Cool. Yeah. I... Uh, like, you also have the event, we'll, I also have it in my hand, I will explain this Yes. Well. So if you also have the event, you can keep your hand as long as the, it's playable. So I've kept a lot of hands that I didn't have stage, but if you have a stage, it's perfect, it's like amazing. The whole engine will start running like... For people who play purple, basically, if you play Onigashima, that's how it runs if you open the stage. And then we have the event, I play four of them. I think everything is needed, like uh, I'm not gonna play even less. Because I try to play one less to try to put uh, more bodies and it actually hurts. This is a good trigger as well. Uh, if you go for lethal, you barely have bricks. The only bricks that you have is the stage and the rush character and the judges. So as long as you get rid of those, I think you never will die because you don't have enough counters basically. The game will be already uh, decided. And of course the best card in the deck, <laughs> which is why I... Uh, Top 8, I think. I think this is by far one of the most broken cards I've ever seen in the game. It requires ban, in my opinion. Or Maybe, at least yeah. restriction. Or at least restriction. It you has have the to potential play at least for it, twice. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking when they made it, but it's an extremely strong card. And it's the reason why um, the blue... Uh, Niji? Five words called. Niji? Yeah. So Niji. basically, if you play Niji, you bounce the Kuzan. They're plus two, so there are eight cards, and they draw nine. They will play one body or bottom your Niji or yeah with a hand blazer or whatever. But if you play pudding on eight and nine cards in hand, they basically screwed. So you take away all of their tempo, you take away all of the cards that they actually need to uh, use. And the best part about this card is that it allows you to go to judge. In this deck, you don't have bodies that don't, don't get you minus done. And the value you get by getting minus cards in his hand plus the fact that you don't use your dons in this turn. It's extraordinary, it's like just too good, too good. Yeah, it so is. So if you can take more than two cards, yeah. Single-handedly won me four out of eight games in the Swiss rounds. So to me, I was really happy about that. And definitely the MVP, the best card in the deck. So you um, think uh, three yeah. is enough for this deck? Three is enough, more yeah. than enough, yes, more than enough. I never had, the, I never needed them and they were not there basically. The engine already, if it runs, it runs. So you just throw a gazillion cards, so it doesn't matter. And uh, I got queen for this, so I tried, like, I, I said I'm not gonna play queen and I stay firm on this because I don't think the meta requires you to play control with Reiju. It's the same as the how to beat Sakazuki no 5 with NL, you have to rush him down, otherwise you lose. So that's how I feel like uh, Reiju uh, needs to be played. Yeah. But to be fair, there is a guy in top 4 who plays Queen, so don't take me for granted. Let's Check also the other guys. We guys. have him right here. <laughs> so uh, I lost from Sakazuki in the final, in the top 8, so maybe you should also check his list. I'll take also a look at it because, yeah, 
klinische stroom kan het zijn wel. Yeah. Al gaan we doen. Ja, yeah, maar de, uh, de pudding to me, I think they are replacing. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. If I would remove to uh, all of the people that they actually gonna play uh, Reju, if you want to remove something, I would cut down the Yonjis, the blockers, mm -hmm. because. I can understand you don't need them. They did want me one game in the top eight, so mm -hmm. I'm happy that I had them in the deck because if I didn't have him, I would have lost, so I wouldn't go to top eight and I wouldn't mm -hmm. want the serial. But if you want to cut something for Queen, it's understandable. Cut the Yonjis, not the Putnik's, like not even close. Okay, yeah. yeah that's it. Yeah. Um, uh, do you want to give some shout outs? Uh, yeah, actually, yes, I do. Uh, shout out to uh, both the locals that I'm playing. Like, uh, I played a lot of locals in Akuma, Akuma CTC, so. Uh, the community there is amazing, so I definitely think that uh, they should uh, have a look there. And uh, there's another uh, local, so I also played a lot of tournaments, a lot of uh, pre-releases. That's uh, my anime. So shout out to them as well. The guy was also ama is also amazing, like super nice community, in both locals. So yeah. I really recommend to people to actually join them. The people there are friendly and they actually help you if you need anything. Also for amateur players, if they want to learn the game, they help a lot. So both of the locals, big shout out. Okay, uh, again, uh, congrats for all these nice prices. Yeah. Quick view, because the cards are just beautiful. Uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for your deck profile, bro, and uh, see you guys. Yes.